Are you looking for a recipe to make the best, scrumptious, juiciest, succulent cheeseburger ever? Then watch this. Guys, how are you doing? I'm about to make, in fact, I'm just gonna have a slow, hang on. Ooh. I'm about to make you the best one. Well, no, not actually make you, but I'm about to show you how to make the best burger, and I mean best burger you've ever had. You're having some friends round, this is gonna wow them. It's superb, it's got a little bit of a twist at the end. And uh, basically, it's a copycat burger from the, the Five Guys chain, the American chain. They've got a couple of burger restaurants over here in the UK now. And believe me, if you go and eat there, uh, they're not cheap. They're not cheap at all. But this one is a replica of it, and it's absolutely superb. So we're going to dig in. Right, so what we're going to need is a few simple ingredients. <laughs> Excuse me. It's a... Right guys, we are going to need some onions, some ground beef, May beef, beef, make sure it's 5% lean fat, so it's a good quality one, it's not a cheap one, get, get a really good quality lean beef mince. You're going to need a nice brioche, really important brioche bun, I'll just show you brioche bun okay it's really important that guys uh some cheese cheddar whatever try not to get the cheapy stuff but a nice cheddar cheese a couple of slices this is for one burger some lettuce some mixed herbs if you've got them and if any seasoning you've got knocking around the house is great some cumin or i'm coming in some salt and pepper seasoning bit of tomato ketchup mate you can't beat it can you you need that mate and some American mustard, absolutely. And we need an onion, oh we've done the onion haven't we? Yeah, that's it. So that's what we need for the burger. So let's start making it. Right guys, so we're now gonna assemble the burger and make them up into patties. So what you need to do first, I've got my burger meat here, is I have washed my hands uh, before you all send your comments in. Uh, not many comments, but. Anything you've got in the house guys, I've got some mixed herbs there, I've got a little bit of chilli flakes, yeah, I've got some bit of basil, basil, yes, what's that, give it a right good mix up, okie dokie, now what I want to do is this is going to be a double Five Guys replica beef burger, so what I'm going to do is make the patties up, and I'm going to make them up quite thin. So I'm going to split one in half, smash half the uh, equipment on the worktop. <laughs> Get a little roll like that. Not like that, like that. So, as I said, guys, don't have to be perfect. And really, really squash them down. And then I want to make really thin pate, okay, or burger, like that. That's absolutely perfect. And that is gonna go in the pan. And then the same with this one. I've got some friends watching me at the moment into a bit of that TikTok, you know what I mean? Not really my sort of bag, you know, but uh, <sighs> yeah, so as I say guys, make it really, really, if you just pan down here a little bit, it looks big at the moment. The burger's not too bad either, but just get it like that, nice and thin, and then we're gonna cook them in a mo. Okie dokie, right, so what we're gonna do, we've got the pan lit, I know it's a big pan, it's like a paella pan. Got it lit, I like this, normally I would use the barbecue guys, but unfortunately we ran out of gas, so we couldn't do it. So we're doing it in here today, it is a beautiful day, I want to do it outside my car. So basically, a little bit of olive oil in, do 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 do, a bit like that. And then we're gonna get those onions in there, I'm just gonna saute those down until they're a lovely golden colour. Just 
just going to push them around a little bit like that. Okay. And then we're going to add our lovely patties. But I want, to be honest with you, I'm going to leave that just a sec because I want that to be really, really hot before I add the patties. Or beef burgers. Patties is probably American, you know, but uh, here in the UK, we like to say beef burger. Uh, ish. This, guys, is no McDonald's thing. This is seriously the best burger you will ever, ever have. Because the key is at the end. That's where the magic comes in. So stick with me, guys. I know you've seen them all before. Right, what we're going to do is get the burgers in. Straight in the middle there. Yeah. Oosh. Move those around a bit. And we're going to let those go nice and brown. Keep those in. Do not turn them over. Keep the patties on where they are. Resist turning them over. And just keep moving the onions around. And that's it for this take. Okay, guys. If you just want to come down here, we are going to keep. I've not turned the beef burgers yet. Just making these onions really, really nice. See how the caramelising there. So what we're going to do now? We're going to pop in the uh, the buns. As I said, make sure, guys, brioche buns, if possible, they're absolutely superb. Perfect for this uh, type of burger. Just pop them in there. And that's why I'm using this big pan. If you can't barbecue, get try and get a big pan if you can do. Or try and do them separately. Keep turning those. So I'm going to flip this one now. I might need to get a little glove on because these handles are getting a bit warm. So I'm going to flip this burger. Okay. All I want to do is get these, the burger buns, just charred nicely, just a light char on them. That's perfect. That's exactly how we want them. So they're ready then. Probably need a little bit more that one. Absolutely perfect. So they're nicely toasted and they're ready for when we actually make up the actual burger. We'll see you in the tip. Guys, my mouth is watering. These are going to be superb. So we're ready. If you want to just come down here, have a look, though. Okay, so we've got. Look at the onions, see how they're lovely and golden there. The burgers are ready, everything's ready. Let's go on there, let's go and make them up. Okay, guys, I'm just going to take the onions out. Grab your cheese, guys, which is over here. Just pop that on. I've got a nice mature cheddar, up to you, whatever you've got sort of knocking around. But uh, And what I like to do is just put a little bit of water in the pan. Okay, and then just pop some sort of lid over the cheese. Okay, and that should, well it will do, it'll melt it down into a nice melty 
cheese where you're just going to go and they're going to bite into it it's going to be absolutely superb and everybody seriously guys when you do this if you do it the way i'm showing you especially with the foil at the end oh i slipped up there um yeah it's going to be absolutely superb and you're going to blow them away this one so uh, we're nearly done okay guys now we're in for the best bit and it's going to be messy but believe me it's going to be good you've got your brioche bun it's been lightly toasted okay what we're going to do first of all on the bottom bit we're going to put some mayo on the top bit we're going to put some mayo as well okay pop that on there and then we're also going to put on now move that out of the way some tomato ketchup like that and then some american mustard gotta have your american mustard it's not the same guys without it there you go i'm gonna put a little bit on there as well so that's that okay then we're gonna put on nice little bit of lettuce okay and then we're going to put on the star attraction the burger this is going to be a double double cheeseburger this is going to be mean as i say in the video absolutely superb Two nice little bits of lovely bacon as well. That's optional, but I would highly recommend it. Bit of tomato. Okay, and then finally guys, some pickles. Again, optional, but they are really, really nice. Uh, and I like to put some onions on as well. So what we're gonna do is scrunch that down Okay. And then this is the big thing guys it's really 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 important what you do is what five guys do in america and it's fantastic because it adds a whole dimension to the actual cheeseburger itself get yourself some foil and put your beef burger in to the foil okay wrap it up I'm going to leave that for about five minutes. So if your guests are coming around, whatever, wrap them up, find out what they want, what they don't want, and then leave that for about five minutes. And then we're going to open it up and we're going to eat it. Guys, the time has come. This burger is going to be so juicy, so succulent. As soon as you bite into it, have a look at this. So here we go. It's been in about five minutes in the foil. Okay, and the foil just keeps all those lovely flavours in. I'm just going to take it out of the foil bit now. Let's move that over there. And there you have, guys, the best burger. You've got the tomatoes there, the cheese, you've got the bacon. I'm literally drooling now. I'm, I'm going to go for it. So here we go. Cheers, guys. Mmm. That is, it actually has is amazing. Guys, highly recommend it. Five Guys Copycat Burger. Super, can't go wrong. I'll see you later. Mm.